Welcome back to Josiah Plays Batman Arkham Asylum. We're trying to track down the location of Commissioner Gordon so we can rescue him. Harley has him. We might have actually reached uh, the point where they're at. Joker's just come on the TV and he's saying something to us. Let's uh, let's see what he has to say. I don't think she would make a good sidekick for Batman. She just doesn't have the moral structure. Alright, I have to rescue Gordon without being detected. So this sort of harkens back to when I had to stop Zaz from uh, killing that guard without getting detected. So time to be super stealthy, because obviously I don't want Gordon to die. He's our best friend. He's a, a true hero, and his death would be horrible. Plus, it would break Barbara's heart, and obviously we care about Barbara uh, as, well as, as well as Jim Gordon. So, letting him die, completely unacceptable. Must use all of our clever bat skills to make sure... Um, to make sure we rescue him. So... This has gotten serious. Is this bear the bane of his life is the riddle for this area. So we'll keep an eye out for that as well. But first priority, five armed guys. Uh, and that's probably Commissioner Gordon there. Or that's him down there, like tied up or whatever. And we need to be super stealthy. Super, super stealthy here. So I'm even going to crouch back here before they could even see me or anything. Okay, let's look around here. What we have, something interesting on the on the table there that I can look at. We have Harley right there, and she even has a gun. That's the commissioner. I don't know who that is down there. Uh, and then you have all the rest of the guys around. There's a grate I can go through. And there's a thing on the desk. So, first things first. Let's sneaky, sneaky over here. Pick up secrets map. Uh, and let's look. There he is. He looks okay. He's breathing. His head's moving around. He's, he, he's even conscious. Um, she seems oblivious to our presence. Um probably kind of bored, not really paying good attention, so we'll use that to our advantage. And the other guys are down there and don't directly have like a line of sight to us or anything yet. Let's get this map. So, you have given in and taken my map. I hope it proves useful. Really? Secrets map found, huh? Well, let's take a look here. What What is the secrets map? <gasps> what? What are these... Is it, like, showing me where stuff is that I that I haven't found or something? Uh, no, not that. So that was the item of such importance. Ah! So what I'm imagining now is that every one of these, that there's a secret map for all of these, right? And that they will show me how to find all the stuff. So let's come back here to where I'm at, which is medical facility. I've found a lot of stuff in the medical facility. What's left? Uh, a couple riddles here, experimental chamber and secure access, a couple tapes, three of those things, is this bear the bane of and his six life? more trophies are around. Uh, now the, the secrets map I guess it's showing me what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things still in here. Oh, just on this floor. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen things. Is that what I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah. So that's 
that's literally all the stuff left to find and it's showing me where they are. That's going to be pretty helpful. But that's not the priority right now. The priority... Oh, hold on. Is this the bare bane of his life thing? I probably shouldn't be right there. Oh, she's moving around. What's she doing? Don't don't mess with him. Don't beat him up. Don't... Okay, what is she doing right now? He seems to be unhappy. She's, like, taunting him. I wonder if I can overhear what she's saying. Guess not. What is she... Alright, I guess she was just messing with him. Look at him. He's trying to get free. Alright. I guess that's fine. That is obviously the Bane bear. I wonder what that has to do with Bane. I mean, it's a, obviously, you know, the bear part is pretty, pretty self-explanatory, but... Well, let's, uh... Let's scan it, anyway. Riddle solved. I got a character bio for Bane there. Cool. So, as is my my modus operandi, I will be reading that bio. Did I unlock some other bio? The, I don't... I don't remember. Great White Shark, right? Hush. Who's this guy? Oh, Scarecrow. I read that one. Zaz, Aaron Cash, Pennyworth, Oracle, Gordon. So I've unlocked a lot of bios. Bowls, killer crow. All right, so let's see about Bane. Gee, look at him. What a beast. What a bruiser. He is a massively huge dude. Imprisoned from birth to serve his dead father's sentence. Okay, hold on. I'm stopping right here. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, that's ludicrously unjust. At this point, you can't even be mad at this guy for anything he's ever done. Because that's just bullshit. Imprisoned from birth to serve his dead father's sentence? Who would do that? He was raised inside the horrific environs of a Santa Prisca prison. I don't know where Santa Prisca is. If that's a real place or, or an invented place. It sounds like something like in you know Latin America somewhere, just based on the name. His only friend in the hellhole was a teddy bear he named Osido. Ah, oh, that's the that's the teddy bear. Finding solace in smuggled books and meditation, he developed incredible powers of concentration. When he was subjected to military experiments using a steroid codenamed Venom, his iron-forged will helped him survive when other test subjects had died, and he managed to escape. Determined to prove his worth, he sought out Batman and broke the Dark Knight's spine. Wow, so Bane fucked Batman up already. But Batman recovered and managed to best Bane, cutting off the precious Venom supply that transforms Bane into a superhuman. So obviously that's the key to beating Bane. If indeed I have to fight him, I need to cut off that supply of Venom. Uh, wow, that is really interesting. I thought he was just some random, oh, I'm a big bruiser, I'm just evil because... But uh, as it turns out, Bane really got the the worst deal out of everybody. What he's really got screwed, and he he tried to better himself by reading and meditating in prison, and and then he was subjected to experiments against his will and turned into this thing. I mean, I have a lot of respect for Bane. Plus, he he actually beat Batman and broke his spine. I mean, Bane seems like a pretty cool guy. I mean, obviously he's he's probably a terrible villain, and you know he wants to destroy me, and I'm gonna have to beat him or whatever. But Bane seems pretty all right. I mean, he, he's worthy of some respect. Uh, okay, so he's brown eyes, but when he's on gr Venom, they turn green. He's 5'6 normally, but when he's on Venom, he becomes 6'8. And he's normally only 140 pounds, so he's just this little guy. But the Venom turns him into this hulking 350-pound monster. He first appeared Batman Vengeance of Bane number 1 in 93. Interesting. Master strategist, intense focus... Abnormally strong reaction to Venom, giving him incredibly enhanced physical abilities. Determined to best Batman and all others who challenge him. Okay, so this guy is like a thinker and a, and a you know, he's well read and he's meditated a lot. So he's not just a dumb brute. That's very interesting. I had no idea. Again, I just thought Bane was random, huge thug guy. But as it turns out, he's considerably more uh, nuanced of a character than that. Cool. Alright, well I'm kind of looking forward to uh, 
seeing what Bane has to say. And I mean, I'm sure he'll try to kill me or whatever, and I'll have to... I'll have to shut off his venom so that he becomes weak and I can subdue him or whatever, but... Alright, so... This is interesting. Joke is not messy. Oh, he shit. Old man kept safe from Batman. If anyone gets near him, it won't be me carrying the can. No problem. Nothing's getting past me. Batman will be a dead man, and I'll be famous. Whatever. Get over there and keep looking. Now, go! Alright, what are they doing? These guards are very, uh... Very confident in themselves. The commissioner's just dying for one of you to spot the fat freak. When you Harley offs the old man. I've got a shiny prize for the one who sees him first. Okay, well they obviously can't detect me over here where I'm at. It doesn't look like I can do anything with this, even though it looks like weak wall type stuff. I mean, I wouldn't want to just... What, they really think they're going to, like, taunt me into, uh, into doing some dumb shit? Okay, so it doesn't look like I can blow through the wall or anything, but I really, I guess I would, wouldn't want to because that would get Commissioner Gordon killed. I have to be like a ghost. <laughs> Harley Quinn's kind of charming in her own crazy way. Oh, here we go. Now this, this looks like... Who said that? Did Batman say that just then? I don't know. Uh, this looks like a spot where I could get spotted, though, if I'm not careful. So I need to kind of sneak through here when they're not looking this way, I guess. Um, I suppose it's safe enough now. I feel bad for her, actually. She's kind of deluded with this fantasy of of the relationship she has with the Joker, and I don't think the Joker feels quite the same way about her. Oh, shit. There's a... Who's saying that? There's no way Batman's... I mean, that's coming across the radio. Ooh, a Riddler trophy. All right, there's a guy right there. That smell of that in Titan Harley kills the old man. Open this carefully and, and quietly. I love stealth stuff. I really like sneaking around in games. I don't know why. I just find it very fun. This oh shit! Looks like he's gonna pee himself. Dude Someone is right there. Bring me a these, these people are they're kind of rude. Alright, so can I silently take this guy out? Yeah, I can. Good. That's one less pair of eyes to deal with. Oh, that's the commissioner that's talking. I can just hear him because I guess the microphone is that's picking up Harley also picks up what he has to say. Okay. One guard dealt with. The commissioner's just dying for one of you to spot the bat freak. What do you do? Harley offs the old man. I've got a shiny prize for the one who sees him first. I really like that cover. He just looks like he's totally stealthily, like, hanging out there. I don't know, just looks looks cool. Looks very Batman. Alright, so there's a guy. There's a guy. I, want, there, I mean, they're all over the place. Harley's funny. Okay, that's all the time we have for this video. I'm going to pause here and, uh, and end this one. Thank you for watching Josiah Plays Batman Arkham Asylum. We'll see you next time.